Uh, hey guys, and welcome to my Fun Time Lab exciting new channel. Congratulations! Congrats! <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what, are we, what are we talking about today? We're talking about something. Do you have a question for me? You mentioned you want to talk about neutron stars and strange lights. Yes, I mentioned that. That's a great question! So what is a neutron star and what's a strange light? A neutron star forms when a very massive star, 2.8 times the sun's mass, okay. explodes. Mm. The neutron soup inside resists the collapse and, 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 and the explosion so violently that it, that, 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 that it actually fuses that that actually fuses elementary particles inside an atom. Wow. Okay. And turns particles that really don't want to be close but have no choice. They actually push back against the collapse. If gravity wins, they'll become a black hole. If they win, they become a neutron star. That's why neutron stars like atomic nuclei the size of a city but holding the mass of our sun, not to sail. So interesting. And you mentioned about strange lights. What is that? Uh, so, but you might find the most dangerous substance in the environment of a neutron star. But first, let's get ahead of ourselves. We first need to know about quarks 101. Okay, what's quarks? It's elementary particles that is are in protons and neutrons. Mm -hmm. And there are only two types of quarks that seem to make stable uh, the stable matter. The up and down quarks found in protons and neutrons. The other types of quarks seem to decay away quickly. Okay. And But in neutron stars, it's different. Why is it different? Protons and neutrons deconfine and and makes sort of a bath of quarks. Oh, okay. Makes quark matter, which is something purely made from quarks. Okay. A star made from this is called a quark star. Uh huh. And 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 if the pressure is great enough in a if the the pressure in a inside a quark star is great enough, it may get stranger. Literally, some of the quarks may be converted into strange quarks. Hmm. Strange quarks have bizarre nuclear properties, and they are heavier, and for the Better word, Str stronger. Okay. If they turn up, they can create stable matter, strange matter. Strange matter is the idea of state of matter, perfectly dense, perfectly stable, indestructible, more stable than any other matter in the universe. So stable that it can exist outside of neutron stars. This can tell us. The nature of the universe itself. Oh. Maybe both. But we have a problem. It may be infectious. Any piece of matter in touch may be so dangerous that it'll literally turn it into strange matter too. Mm. Protons and neutrons deconfine and become part of the quark bed, which frees energy and it creates more strange matter. The only way to get rid of it would be to draw it into a black hole. But who cares? All of it's inside neutron stars. Except when neutron stars collide with other neutron stars or black holes, they spear out tremendous amounts of their insides, which can include little droplets of strange matter called strangelets. Mm -hmm. Strange lists are as dense as the core of a neutron star. They may be really small, maybe even seven atomic. But even the largest strange lists wouldn't be any bigger than a rocket. These strange lists will drift to the galaxy 
for bi millions or billions of years until they meet a star or planet by chance. If one will strike Earth, it will immediately start converting into a strange matter. The more it converts, the more it will grow. Literally, all the atoms making up Earth will be converted. That's very scary. Earth will become a hot clump of strange matter the size of an asteroid. If a strange light strikes the sun, it will collapse into a strange star, eating through it like fire through a dry forest. This will not change the sun's mass much, but it will become way less bright, so Earth will freeze to death. And like a tiny virus, we'll have no way of seeing a strange comic. Let's hope the stranger never visits Earth. But... Don't worry, because the Earth, Sun, and planets haven't been a wildfire of strange lips in the past few billion years. So, the, uh, so, so, so we might, so, so, we might be safe. Mm-hmm. Hooray. Yeah.